This video slash stream is sponsored by TradersCentral.com. Traders Central provide funding for traders, spot cryptocurrency exchange services, and access to trading tools like copy trade softwares, portfolio tracking, and a social platform exclusively for communicating with your traders' friends. Sign up using the link in the descriptions and get up to 30% off on your first plan. Hello, traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. Today in this video, let us look at Silver US Dollar Commodity Pairs. I'll start my analysis in weekly time frame and slowly go down to the lower time frame and will be sharing you the support and current trend of the market. Please use it as a reference for deciding on your trade entry and exit. So I'm in weekly time frame now when we look at the price action from the weekly time frame. Previously it was on a bullish trend and found resistance around the level of 49.55 then it bounced back on the bearish trend reversal and here after which it took support around the level of 13.49 then it started moving on a sideways again from the level of 11.60 it started going on a bullish trend reversal but we can notice that it couldn't manage to break the previous high and we can notice a consolidation going on over here. Let us analyze this area of price action more in detail. So from this point it started going on a bullish trend reversal and it reached around the level of 29.92 and again from this point it started going on a bearish trend reversal. I am drawing a resistance line over here. We can clearly notice that only weeks have gone above this resistance line the bodies have closed below this level which means that the price couldn't sustain above this resistance lines over here it tried to break this resistance line and it has failed and in the past we have noticed a price action to come up to this support level which was around 22.12 and the price has bounced back on the bullish trend reversal but currently when we notice a price action it has broken this support level and went little further and when we notice the retracement level in Fibonacci retracement tool it has come down to the level of 50% and currently we are noticing the price action to bounce back from the 50% support level from the Fibonacci retracement tool. So this whole red color area is going to be acting as a support zone for the current price action. And when we look at the chart formation, currently the price action is forming a triangle pattern and we have noticed the price action to test the support level of this triangle pattern which, which was around 20.77 and currently we are noticing the price action to bounce back on the retracement. So even if the price action goes on the bullish side, we can expect the price action to respect this resistance line and to bounce back on the bearish trend reversal. So if the price action breaks this support zone between 22.06 to 20.77 next level of support is going to be around 18.62 this level had acted as a very strong resistance level and if the price action comes on the bearish side this level will be acting as a support level and only when the price action breaks this resistance level of 25.611 it will be a trend reversal on the bullish side currently we are seeing a weaker bullish side so these are all going to be the resistance and support levels for silver in weekly time frame if the price action breaks this 50 percent support level it will be the breakout from this triangle pattern over here in which case we can expect a further fall in silver next level of support is going to be around 18.64 let us do the analysis in 4 hours time frame. I am in 4 hours time frame now. I am drawing one more trend line or resistance line. So previously we have noticed a price action to trade below this resistance line. And currently it has given a breakout from this resistance line. And noticing a bullish trend to start from here. But this whole red color zone is very strong resistance and support levels for the current price action. Only when the price action breaks this resistance level, we can expect a further continuation of the bullish trend. And if the price action fails to break this resistance level, we can expect a bearish trend reversal to start in 
फोर आवर्स टाइम फ्रेम लेट एस डू द एनालिसिस इन आवर्ली टाइम फ्रेम आई मीन आवर्ली टाइम फ्रेम नाउ वेन वी नोट इज अ प्राइज एक्शन प्रीवियसली इट वॉज एन अ वेरी नाइस डाउन ट्रेंड एंड टूक सपोर्ट अराउंड द सपोर्ट लेवल ऑफ ट्वेंटी पॉइंट सेवन वन एंड इट स्टार्टेड गोइंग ऑन अ बुडली स्ट्रेंड वी कैन क्लियरली नोटिस दैट एवरी टाइम इट मेक्स अ रीट्रेसमेंट इट गोज लिटल बिट मोर ऑन द बुडली साइड करंटली वी एस इंग कंसॉलिडेशन हैपनिंग ओवर हियर वेट फॉर द प्राइज एक्शन टू ब्रेक दिस रेसिस्टेंस लेवल ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट इलेवन इन आर्डर टू टेक अ बुडली साइड ट्रेड्स एंड इफ द प्राइज एक्शन ब्रेक दिस सपोर्ट लेवल ऑफ ट्वेंटी पॉइंट सेवन वन वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट अ बियर इज ट्रेन रिवर्सल टू स्टार्ट इन सिल्वर इन आवरली टाइम फ्रेम लेट एस मार्क द सपोर्ट एंड रेसिस्टेंस लेवल्स सो दीज आर ऑल द रेसिस्टेंस एंड सपोर्ट लेवल्स फॉर आवरली टाइम फ्रेम Currently, it is trading in a very strong support and resistance levels. Let us do the analysis in 30 minutes time frame. I am in 30 minutes time frame now. When we look at the price action in 30 minutes time frame, previously it was in a bullish trend and took resistance around the level of 22.10. And currently, we are noticing the price action to retrace, to retest on the trend line from the hourly time frame. it is under a consolidation in 30 minutes time frame also let us mark the support and resistance levels so the values in blue color boxes are the resistance and support levels for 30 minutes time frame wait for the price action to give a breakout from this support line or from this resistance level of 22.11 in order to take a directional trades let us do the analysis in 5 minutes time frame I'm in 5 minutes time frame when we notice the price action in 5 minutes time frame previously it was in a down trend and again it went on a bullish trend and has bounced back from the 30 minutes time frame resistance line so if the bearish trend continues we can expect it to retrace up to this support line from the hourly time frame and to bounce back on the bullish side so overall when we look at the price action it is under a consolidation between the resistance line and the support line Let us mark the support and resistance levels for 5 minutes time frame. So the values within this blue color boxes are the resistance and support levels for 5 minutes time frame. That's all the analysis for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found this video to be useful, press that like button and share this video with your friends.